Hey everyone, I'm Liz Ferry, and today I'm going to show you three different witch outfits that I've been working on for this spooky season. I know Halloween is over, and I really wanted to finish this by Halloween, but I wasn't able to edit the video in time. But, I mean, should spooky season really even be over? I for one still feel very afraid. So that being said, I hope you can still enjoy this project diary. For this first outfit, I tried to go for a spacey celestial look, inspired by magician and fortune teller outfits. I also got a lot of inspiration from the character Jareth the Goblin King from the movie Labyrinth. I imagine this witch studying charts of the stars, or gazing into a crystal ball to discover what secrets the future holds. Most of this outfit was made using things I already had. I used this puffy sleeve Ren Faire smock. This is actually Joey's, but I borrowed it. I also made this space print cape. This is actually a circle skirt that I made for my unicorn costume last year, but I figured I could make it work as a cape without too much trouble. It was actually super easy to work out. I just crocheted some chains that I safety pinned to the elastic so that I could tie the skirt around my neck. I also have my sun's and moon's printed leggings, and a couple of shawls that I had that I think fit the vibe. I used one to tie around the waist, and the other one draped over the shoulders. One piece I did make for this look is this witch hat fascinator. I started with a mini stars and moons hat, and I decorated it with a feathery hair clip and some gathered tulle. To go with the hat, I made a faux cameo frame with some chains and slip stitches that I crocheted using like eight strands of a spool of metallic thread that I had. I didn't film this process though. I originally wanted to do this using embroidery floss, which would have been way easier, but I didn't have any of the right shade of silver on hand. I only had this platinum, which I decided was too bright to match the outfits. Let me know though if you'd want to see a tutorial for something like this in the future. I placed this tiny owl that I drew in the cameo frame and pinned both to the front of the hat. The tiny owl is just a little piece of paper that I literally taped to the felt backing of my frame. I did this so that I could change out the paper in the cameo frame for each witch outfit. I'm sure I could have figured out a way of making a lip to keep the paper attached so that I wouldn't have to use tape, but I ran out of thread, so let's save that for the tutorial. I used this acrylic juggling ball, also Joey's, to add some magic to the look. And I finished the look with a pair of grey boots. The most important part of this look is obviously the space and stars theme, but I think the flowy fabrics add a lot too. The loose shirt, the shawls, and the capelet create a slightly floaty look, which I think adds a mysterious flair and I think it adds a lot to the magician aspect.
For this witch look, I took huge inspiration from Bernadette Banner. This is pretty much a Bernadette Banner cosplay at this point. I imagine this witch poring over huge tomes in an ancient library, looking for just the right ingredient to perfect her newest potion. I used a plain men's white button-up shirt, but I did this weird thing with the collar to make it look more old-timey by ironing it, yes, using my hair straightener, so that it was higher and shorter. I don't know if this is an actual thing people do. Also used was this vest. And these trousers that I thrifted. And this lovely capelet that I made, which was once an oversized coat that I also thrifted. Let me know if you'd be interested in a tutorial for that, because it was surprisingly easy to make. I just seam ripped off the sleeves, trimmed away the edges of the arm side, and sewed the sleeves back on. This coat was a particularly good candidate for this project because of the ruffled velvet high collar. Another item I made was this Deerstalker witch hat, inspired by Bernadette Banner's video. Mine is crocheted though, of course, using a corner-to-corner -corner method to get the argyle effect. I should mention that the patterns for all these proto hats will be available on my Patreon. I'm once again using my cameo charm, this time with a classic woman's silhouette. I kind of tried to make it look like Bernadette too because she inspired this look. This time though, I placed the charm at my neck instead of on the hat. Another accessory I used was this fake toy pocket watch, which I stole from my vintage white rabbit doll. And I used the same pair of grey boots that I used for the Celestial Witch to complete the look. I think the geometric prints and the argyle is what pushes this into the dark academia aesthetic. I was so lucky to thrift this vest, I think it adds a lot to the look. And the hat, which I adore, makes me look like a professor at a witch school. And it's so warm, I might be wearing this a lot in the coming months. This cottage witch look is inspired by old tales of kindly, sweet witches living in the woods, 
that maybe secretly want to eat you. Think Hansel and Gretel. I imagine this witch out in the woods gathering mushrooms, berries, and herbs to make spells, or cookies, or both. I made pretty much all the pieces for this look. The dress is a chemise that I made out of some pink fabric that I had in stock. This is a pretty easy garment to make. I took inspiration from a lot of my favorite YouTubers, who all just so happened to make puffy sleeves videos at the same time. I made mine combining aspects from The Closet Historian, Bernadette Banner, and Morgan Donner's recent videos, which I will link in the description. The apron used to be a flowy cotton shirt with a huge coffee stain on it. I just cut out the front, cut off and gathered the bottom and reattached it, and used the sleeves to add a decorative ruffle to the back bib, and I added a ribbon to finish. I'm also planning on wearing this white skirt under the apron so that it looks like part of the apron. I also crocheted this lace collar is actually one of the Downton Abbey patterns. This one is the Gothic Arches Shawl. You can find the pattern for free online, but I'll try to remember to put a link to it in the description. I also made this super cute straw hat out of raffia. I've never crocheted with raffia before, and it was actually way easier than I thought it would be. I did a few tweaks to my basic witch hat pattern to get the right shape. It came out so cute, but if I was to make it again, I think it would be nicer with a smaller hook size. Even so, the pattern for this version will be on Patreon as well. Next, I decorated the hat with a ribbon, which I weaved through the back of the hat and tied in a bow. I added a bunch of crochet flowers, which I pinned on with bobby pins. And I used my cameo charm again, this time with a little cat silhouette that I drew. I decided a basket was the best accent for this look. I thrifted these cute leather shoes that are exactly my size and practically brand new, so I was pretty excited about that. The thing that really sells this look for me is the natural materials like the straw hat, the woven basket, and the leather shoes. The fluffy dress worked well too, but I wish I had used a thinner fabric to make it. Let me know if you guys would like a tutorial, because I'd love to try making this again. I had a lovely time walking through the woods in this costume, and I think I'll get more use out of the dress than I originally thought, because it's so comfy.
So there you have it, three witchy looks to inspire you to put some magic in your wardrobe. Which one was your favorite? What are some other witch-themed looks that I should try out in the future? Let me know in the comments because I might just start dressing like a witch on the daily. Why not in these times of plague? Anyway, if you liked this video, you could press the like button or share it on social media. And if you'd really like to help out the channel, you can donate to my Patreon. You can get some pretty cool perks through Patreon, like seeing my videos early and ad-free, access to my prototype patterns, and discounts in my Ravelry store, depending on the level of your donation. You can find out more about that at patreon.com slash fairyrings. You could also subscribe and click the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I don't know how else to indicate that I'm looking at that other than to just caress it softly. <laughs> <laughs> it's a battle with a demon. Ow! Ow, <laughs> sweetie, why are you so mad at me? Forest witch problems. I don't know what to do. <laughs> That's a big-ass tree. Mean forest sounds. Right. It's like seeing the tip of a mountain. Oh, my son. My son is a wizard.